YouTube and the Bell community. Uh, this is Andrew back, got another video for you. And um, I think you've probably seen this belt before, but this is not the same one. This is actually a brand new network logo that I just got back in the mail the other day. And this one, while it is also restoned, is uh, not restoned with Swarovski crystals like the last one I have. Um, this one's actually been completely done with cubic zirconias. I've only seen probably one of these out there from someone else, actually my friend Andy. He did one of these himself uh, a few months back. So you may have seen his video on either YouTube or uh, on Bell Talk. Um, this is only the second or third one that I know of that's been done. And I'm sure there's going to be more out in the future, but for now this is sort of a first. But um, This actually has been restoned by uh, my buddy Richard Simpson from uh, Simpson's, uh, I think, Restoning Services. I think it's his Facebook page name. Um, he's on Facebook. Um, he's been doing this for a few months now, and I've, from all the pictures I've seen, I've been very impressed with his work. And um, once he put one of these up that he was actually now offering the service, I couldn't, you know, kind of resist. So found a good, very good deal on Facebook for a mint condition network logo, one that's in way better condition than the other one I have. And um, I sent this right out to him, and not even. Actually, I got it back on Monday. That's two weeks after I actually received the stock belt from the original seller. So he got this done very, very fast, and, and the work, even though it was fast, it was very, it's very well done. So um, it's just going to be a detailed video of just the stonework. Um, I mean, you guys have seen the plates. Right now, it's on a figure zinc strap. Um, I'm probably going to change that out really soon. So I'll probably keep you updated on that. And um, you can see the sun's kind of going in and out. So you're going to see sometimes that you know, right now it's shining really nice. And you're gonna see it kind of dull out a little bit once when the clouds kind of kick in. But I'm gonna do my best to try and work around that. And um, yeah, let me pause the video and uh, we'll get to it. All right, so let's start with the main plate. Um, so as I said, these are all restoned with uh, cubic zirconia crystals. Um, the cut on these and just the overall um, look of these compared to Swarovski's are so much better as far as the way they shine. Um, I mean. One of the probably major differences is that these stones don't have any foil on the back of them compared to normal Swarovskis, so it allows the light to go all the way through. So you can see the uh, you see the back, and it allows it to shine a lot brighter. So these are all pointed back stones. Um, so Richard did have to drill pretty much every single stone uh, holder in order to fit and set the stones properly, and he did a very very clean and precise job with. Uh, getting these stones set. I'm going to show you in a little bit when I kind of pan down and go kind of flat with the felt. You can see how, you know, if, I'm going to do a comparison also with my uh, my other network logo and you can see how these stones are set so flat and flush with the uh, stone holders. And um, it, it just looks very nice. I'm very, very happy with the work that he did. Let's see. I did a quick overview of the border as the sun kind of goes away. It actually helps me see the uh, what I'm doing, but you're not going to see the full effect of the shine of the stones. I'm sure you've seen it so far, though. Let's go around the border here. Oh. I actually brought out the uh, Seth Rollins box. This actually has the stock WWE side plates in there, so I'm going to show you actually what the back of those look like so you can see how clean as well. Um, the stones are seated and, and stuff like that. Get back to the, uh, the main plate. So there is some. Um, it's probably some fingerprint smudge I tried cleaning up, and um, probably a little bit of excess glue that Richard did try to clean up the best he could. But I believe he was using the E6000 adhesive, which is very very strong. So it's a little bit harder if you have a little spillover trying to pick it apart. So it's something I you know I don't mind cleaning up later, but it's also not to the extent where it even bothers me that I have to do it right away. So you know. Your mileage may vary on this, like you know, if you, depending on how how much glue he wants to be using per stone. You'll see that happen, but again, it's no big deal for me. You just see how they shine. You know, you can see pretty much all the way to the back of the stone, all the way. You know, even all these little the little tiny ones; these are all pointed back cubic zirconias. They all shine very, very nicely. I'll move over to the side plate. So right now I do have the Seth Rollins uh, discs in there. 
Um, I did actually send him my other three, the uh, little stock WWE ones, uh, my Brock Lesnar and my Daniel Bryan plates to um, have these changed out. Um, he did use Swarovski's for those, I didn't mind. Um, I don't think it was, it was really going to make a difference in, for such a small stone anyway, but... The Seth Rollins ones, those plates did come out, I think, after I already sent him the whole belt, so... He was kind enough at my request to um, send out a bag of extra stones, gave me two different sizes even, which was really nice. And um, I did these actually myself the other night, so it was actually really easy to just pop, it up with, pop the old stones up with a screwdriver and... Um, and my mom actually had some E6000, so I was able to use what she had. I didn't have to go out and buy any. Stuff is super strong and probably is going to give us cancer down the road, but enjoy the belt for now. Let me kind of pan down a little low so you can see how nice the stones sit. I'm actually, uh, actually took pictures before I started filming, so you should you know, get the same effect. I don't know if this is focusing or not, but I'm hoping you can actually see what I'm describing. And um, figure out, you know, in case I forget the end of the video, um, Richard is doing a sale on this right now. So if you are interested, um, I'll put the link to his Facebook page in the description. And um, in between now, which is today's, I think the 19th, 18th or 19th, I'm sure, it's 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 the Wednesday before SummerSlam. Um, so in between now and SummerSlam, if you do want to purchase this belt, not this belt, but if you want to purchase the service for the Cubic Zirconia replacement. He is doing it for 475. That's stones and labor. All you gotta do is supply the plates, which honestly is a steal. I thought this was gonna cost a lot more. I'm, I'm not too familiar with pricing on the stones, so I, I was assuming because these stones are nicer that they would be more expensive. But for right now, he's doing charging 475. I believe it's gonna go up to 575 after SummerSlam, which is gonna be the regular price. Um, honestly, no matter if you get it on the sale or not, you know you should definitely go for it. It's definitely gonna be worth the money in the end. Especially you have to re-leather. Let me show you the other side plate. Um, his communication is actually very top-notch. He keeps you posted as often as you want him to. Uh, he's always available. So if you are, if you know, if you message him on Facebook, he's re he's responding within minutes. All so it doesn't matter what time of day unless, unless he's sleeping, which I think is awesome. But you don't always get that kind of communication from uh, from people. He also still does offer the Swarovski service. I believe that's five twenty-five. I think so. Right now the sale is for four twenty-five, which again is still an awesome deal. You can't go wrong with either one. I mean, fill whatever is within your budget. Don't feel bad if you don't go for this one. You have to, and you have to go with the Swarovskis. You're not going to be disappointed either way. I mean, just just from the, even the other one I have, even though it wasn't done by Richard, it was done by uh, Julian. He did a great job also, and that belt still shines just as nice. Just this one is just a little bit better. So I'm going to pause the video real quick. I'm just going to grab the uh, Seth Rollins plates out of the box just so I don't have to fumble with the camera. And um, I'll just show you those real quick and then we'll kind of wrap things up. All right, so these are the stock WWE logo side plates. Um, this is actually the updated version as it does have the two stones similar to the old scratch logo version. My, uh, my other one actually does not have those stones. So I guess WWE originally decided not to use them. Um, I think it looks better. I mean, it kind of mimics fact that there's supposed to be screws there to have these screwing from the front side of the back but the stones add a lot you know it's a nice little touch instead so you can see get the stones all the way around um, before Richard actually started to put new stones in he did ask me if I wanted a different size stone he did have bigger ones that do pop out more however when he showed me the difference I didn't like how they didn't seat as well you know, they, were, they were still sticking up a little bit and I didn't think it was gonna look as clean so I, I opted for the smaller stones, and as you can see, they, they sit very, very nice. They're in the plate. So. So. The, um, I believe all of these stones on all the plates I sent them are the smaller size compared to the Rollins. I believe those are I want the bigger ones. They, they both fit just, just right. I mean, one wasn't different than the other as far as how they sit, but I thought the bigger ones looked better. Uh, show you again. 
Main plate does not have a curve, it's still the stock curve. Um, I was not gonna go there the last time I tried it. Uh, my skinny arms felt like they were gonna snap, so. And I don't trust sending my belt out to somebody else if something goes wrong, because I know they're not gonna probably pay for, pay for another belt, so it's not worth it. There you go. This is actually the back, so as you can see, just for anybody curious, this is kind of what the back looks like. You can actually kind of see, I don't know if it's, I can see it through with my own two eyes, I don't know if the camera's gonna show it, but you can kind of see the blue from my, the uh, towel in the stone itself. So, I don't know if you can see that. You can see how he precisely drilled out circles for the stones to, seat, uh, to sit, and there's actually, what I can feel, there is no glue even holding on this in. So all the glue is up on the top of the rest of the stone, and it's not seeping through, which is, you know, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't matter since you don't see it, but it's cool that he was able to actually get it to sit that perfect and that clean without having to go crazy with the glue. So, pretty much the entire other plates all look like that if you, um, if I took them off, um, but everything's screwed in, so you're not going to do that now. But they all look the same as far as, as far as that goes. And that was actually the first thing that stood out to me. I think these side plates were the first thing I took out of the box, and I noticed right away about how just, how clean everything looked. And that, that impressed me right away. So I knew from my, the 475 I paid, uh, I definitely got my money's worth. As far as um, getting this re-leathered, I was really going back and forth. And if I wanted to just get a new strap or if I wanted to swap the plates with the uh, Paul Martin strap that I currently have on the other the other set. Um, and I think that's actually what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna probably, you know, I was gonna send it out to a real other guy just to get him back and have them do it because you know they know what they're doing, they're the professionals. But um, thanks to Bell Fan Danny gave me some some nice tips and advice. So I'm actually gonna try this myself later today and hopefully I don't screw it up. But if I do screw it up, I'll have to send it out, probably get a new backing. You know, so I don't I don't think I'm gonna it's a matter of I'm not gonna damage the actual strap, I'm probably just gonna damage the uh, the backing too too much to an extent. So yeah, so I mean that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you watched it from the beginning. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, just the stones itself. You know, anytime the sun has been popping out, the spark was really, really nice out here. Um, so yeah, big shout out to Richard for doing the work. You know, he did a very nice job and I really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to give his link to his Facebook page down in the description. So hopefully, you guys, if you're interested, you can get it on the sale before it's too late. Um, his turnaround time is pretty quick. Um, he's actually working on one of these for Dave Milliken, I believe, actually, right now. So. I don't know if that's going to tie him up at all, but still, it's probably only going to be a few weeks before uh, you would get your belt back from him. He lives up in Maine, so you know, if you're U.S.-based, it's probably the way to go. And um, yeah, so subscribe if you'd like to uh, for more content. Um, I'm actually probably going to do a comparison video right after this one of just the stones, you know, Cubic Zirconia versus Swarovski. You know, not about anyone's actual work, but just the difference in the quality of, of the stone as far as how the light hits it and stuff like that. Um, that's probably coming up next. Uh, next belt that I have, probably last belt I have coming in, at least for now, is going to be a restone spinner that's still currently being worked on by uh, my buddy Nick Clark out in the UK. Um, besides that, I mean, like the video if you liked it. Uh, comment if you have any questions or anything like that, any feedback. And uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.